Peace everyone, on Art here, and welcome to another Art Club project. This colored pencil project here is another of many projects you'll find in the Art Club. If you don't know what the Art Club is, then you are missing out. The Art Club has all the real-time tutorials of this project in over 600 hours. Yes, 600 hours of tutorials, probably more, probably much closer to 1,000 hours to be honest with you of all of the other projects. Just check it out using the link in the description when you sign up for a year, get two months free. I also stream all of the projects right here on YouTube every Monday through Thursday. So make sure you're subscribed so I get a chance to say hello when I see you in the next live stream. Now this project you are watching right now is a hand project that I did like a mini series on uh, skin tones, dealing with skin tones. And the idea behind this particular project was not only to demonstrate the colors that make up good skin tones, but also utilizing a limited color palette. So for this project and several of the projects that exist on, in the art club, I use only the 12 pack of polychromos pencils. And for this project, I am using the 12 pack of polychromos pencils. So as you watch this project evolve, just keep in mind that everyone that followed this tutorial is only using the 12 pack of polychromos. And you'll, you'll notice as it comes into existence here on the paper that the colors become more bold and more realistic because the idea here is to demonstrate how all of the colors exist in skin tones it's irrelevant what shade of skin you're dealing with uh, all of the colors make an appearance so you'll see blue you'll see green you'll see the reds and the oranges and the yellows and all of that in this case, you only have one orange, you only have one yellow, you only have one red. <laughs> and it's a fun challenge. Uh, this was definitely one of my favorite projects that we've done so far this year. Uh, I did this a couple of months ago now. And the technique that I'm using, uh, so with the polychromos, I like to blend dry with a paper blender and you'll see that paper blender coming in every once in a while as I smooth out the colors. The other thing about this project is I am using I'm using a new paper, a new paper that I've never used previously, and that is the Claire Fontaine paint on paper. And this was a paper that I just randomly came across and I was very curious about it because I'd never I'd never heard of it before. I'd never seen it before. I needed to order some other paper and I came across this paper on the website from the store I got and I was like, well, why not try it out? It's, it's Claire Fontaine and Claire Fontaine makes pastel mat. Pastel mat is one of the greatest papers ever made. So I went, uh, went ahead and gambled on this paper and I have to say that this paper, this paper is amazing. The I'm using the neutral tone of this paper. So that's that sort of grayish tan surface that you see there. That's the neutral tone. And it is fantastic. If you want to do portraits, if you want to do figure drawing, then I can highly recommend this specific paper, this specific color of this paper. Because as you can see, I've I've only worked with browns up to this point. I've worked with two shade or uh, one shade of brown actually, just one shade of brown and some white to get the hand to look like this. Um, just before I start adding some color here, um, notice the color that I'm using is green. I'm using green as the first actual color in in this uh, this hand here, and I did that on purpose. I remember when I when I was streaming this tutorial, I chose green because i wanted to emphasize how 
every color is present in skin tone. And this is something a lot of people miss. A lot of people, they too strongly associate browns and tans with skin tone, and they end up getting very lifeless skin. And the reason for that is that they're missing the greens and the blues and the reds and the purples and all the all the fun colors that give 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 skin life. And so I started with probably the most uncommon color that people associate with skin. So um, that's why I started with green. And by this point, you can see I've added a little bit of like a fuchsia purple and some orange, uh, like a sienna color. And then I come through with like blue randomly. And I, I explain all of the purpose of these colors in the live stream. So if you want to check that out, just uh, head over to the art club. And then of course you can see me using the blender at this point as well to smooth out the texture of the pencil. That's the other thing about this paper. I could, I could talk all day about this paper. I really, really enjoyed working on this paper and I look forward to working on it more this year. Um, is that it just it just blends like so well with the polychromos pencils uh, this is one of my favorite ways to use colored pencils is to softly layer the polychromos and this is specific to polychromos by the way just just to be clear i do not do this with any other brand of colored pencils and it's it's a property of the pencils themselves so just to make that that clear I'm not going to be using this method with like luminance or prismacolor or anything else um, but uh, I felt like I could just layer infinitely on this paper with these pencils and this blending method and I really really like the the final outcome of this project all the colors were nice and vibrant and blending them out real smooth it just it just looked great and so I was really happy with the outcome. Anyways, there's not a whole lot left of what I do with this project. Mostly what you'll be seeing at this point is just a continuation of layering the variety of color. I'm trying to cover up the paper, try to get rid of some of the, the paper showing through and smoothing it out. And I focus a lot on just getting a wide range of values. So I'm looking to really push the shadows and the hands. I use a little bit of black to do that and some of the dark walnut brown. And I just repeat that process three or four times. I smooth it out with some blending. I use some white to increase the highlight brightness a bit as well. And then by the end of the project, you know, the hand looks uh, rather dramatic because the, the reference photo that I used for this hand what, had a rather dramatic lighting. And um, you know, it, it, it fits the pose of the hand also. The, the pose of the hand feels really dramatic. So the lighting sort of matches the body language of the hand. I know that this problem, uh, this this project, had a lot of problems for people. You know, this is this is a rather difficult subject. Hands are one of those things that there's a lot of intricate details that need to be right in order for it to look good. You know, you, you get a, a a finger drawn just a little wonky, and your hand looks kind of goofy, or you don't get your shadows dark enough or you don't get your colors vibrant enough and your skin looks a little lifeless. Uh, so this is, this is a challenging project on top of the fact that you're just using the 12 colors. So mixing, learning to mix those limited colors that you have is a, a huge hurdle to get over. But by doing a project like this, you establish a better understanding of the medium. So it's a really good project to 
to work on, even though it's very difficult, there is nothing stopping a beginner. If you're just getting into colored pencils, there's absolutely nothing uh, in the process of this project that is inherently hard. The way that I lay it out, I keep things as simple as possible, that as long as you can pick up a pencil and scribble on a piece of paper, you can follow this tutorial. Your results may not be as precise as mine, but I guarantee that you will be satisfied with your drawing at the end. That's the one thing that I do with, with all of my tutorials is I, I make sure that I don't just tell you the pencil I'm using. I don't, I don't just, I, I don't just tell you what I'm doing. You can visually see exactly what I'm doing in the tutorials. I explain the purpose. I explain the reason I chose a specific color and I outline a process that simplifies even the most complex. So the tutorial is very digestible for even the most novice of colored pencil artists. But anyways, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of this project. I hope to see you in the art club and I hope to also see you in the live streams. So make sure you are subscribed and give the video a thumbs up for me and possibly a share if you do that kind of thing. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.